Hey everybody, it's Lisa from the Silver Farmhouse. We're coming with another pre-recorded video, guys, and we are using we are using the little waste basket from the swing waste basket from the Dollar Tree. Is where I got this little swing waste basket from. It comes in numerous colors. Blue, I think like a mint green, a gray. It doesn't matter what color you get. You're just going to need the little mini waste basket. Guys, wait until you see what we're making out of this and stick with me until the end because I have a surprise on the end for you guys. So we're not going to be using the lid. You're going to be able to remove the lid. If by chance your dollar store has the can and no lid, buy just the can because we are making a cowbell, guys. Do you not see a cowbell out of the... I see a cowbell and it comes out absolutely amazing. So we're going to kind of go through this real quickly because I have one already halfway done. But what you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of sandpaper. I use 220 grit sandpaper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sand your entire waste basket very, very well. It's the only way to get the paint to adhere to plastic very well. So you're going to want to sand everything. Sand the ridge, the edge, the top, the inside. Um, once you have it all sanded, you're going to need to spray paint it with some form of a rust looking spray paint. Now I love to use Rust-Oleum 2 times flat red primer is what I like to spray my when I'm rusting something, what I like to spray it with. So give it a good sanding and coat the outside and give the inside of your little waste basket a coat. Now, to do the rusting technique that we're going to do, it's actually gonna come out to look like this. Do you see, guys? It looks great. It looks amazing. And does it not look like a cowbell? Hang on, we got more to add to it. But I left the inside not finished with the rusting technique. There may be a little cinnamon in there from sprinkling it on, but I'm gonna show you how to do the rusting technique in case you are, have not been with the Silver Farmhouse and you are new to the Silver Farmhouse and you don't know how I do the rusting technique. We're gonna do it right now together. Very quickly, I'm just gonna take a piece of my cardboard I have down here. You're gonna need a work surface to catch your cinnamon and I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard because you could save the cinnamon that falls. You can put it right back in your container. So my inside is spray painted with my rust colored paint. Now what you're gonna need is a spray adhesive, some cinnamon, and a sealer. Today I'm using Gorilla Spray Adhesive Heavy Duty. Um, you could use any kind of spray adhesive you would like to use. For my sealer, I'm using Krylon Matte Finish. I get that at Walmart. And I'm just gonna use plain ground cinnamon. This is from the Dollar Tree. They do sell cinnamon in the containers for a dollar. So once your spray paint is dry, you're going to give your item a coat of your spray adhesive. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to, my nozzle is clogged. Your nozzle will get clogged after each use. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to give it a coat of my spray adhesive. And then once you have a coat of spray adhesive on the inside, you're going to take some cinnamon and you're gonna sprinkle it into your container. Inside works better than out, easier to work than outside because the inside you can kind of roll your cinnamon around. The outside you're just gonna sprinkle it all over. So I'm just rolling it all around the inside of my container, coating the inside with my cinnamon. And then you can tap off any huge, um, if you have a lot of cinnamon left on, tap it off. I do like to leave some on. Um, a little bit of a coat on so I don't I don't bang it all off but I'm just making sure it's all covered so I'm just gonna give it a light tap because I do want to keep some heavy stuff in there you can see there's some on the side here I do like to keep some in there then you take your sealer whatever kind polyurethane shellac this matte finish a clear sealer it doesn't matter what kind of sealer you use I will tell you this one dries very quickly the Krylon matte finish it dries very, very quickly. And then give your cinnamon a squirt, a coating of your sealer and let it dry. If you feel you're getting a lot of cinnamon still falling off, you can go back and give it another coat of sealer. But once it dries, it comes out to look like this. Guys, it is amazing how this comes out. But like I said, leave some excess cinnamon on, not a ton, but you don't have to get every little loose flake off. 
Um, the more you leave on, you will get that bigger rusty look, like this look right here. The less you leave on, you're gonna get the little bit darker look. But the outside is dry. So we're gonna work on the outside while the inside is drying because it doesn't take long for this stuff to dry. So for the handle, because you know, cowbells, they need a handle. So we need a handle. So what I have here is I have faux leather that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was in the upholstery section. It was half off when I bought it. I think it might have been nine or ten dollars a yard but i only bought a quarter yard and i think it was half off so you could go to any fabric store and get some faux it's just faux leather is what it is they make all numerous shades prints patterns you're going to need to cut yourself a strip my strip i will tell you how long it is right now and i'm not going to use the whole strip i'm going to end up trimming it a little bit not much but my strip's 19 inches long so then you take some hot glue and what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it, fold it over and glue it so I don't see this gray part. I wanna see all leather, I don't wanna see gray. So I'm gonna flip it over and glue it. And I found out working in sections works best. So I'm gonna add some glue. Make sure you get your glue to the edges. You can always go in and add more glue if you don't hit the edge all the way, but you wanna make sure your edges are secure um, and nice and glued together. And then just keep adding hot glue and gluing your other piece over. And I'm not, I'm not a neat crafter, do you see? It's not perfect. I just cut a strip. I could have folded it in half and probably cut them both even, but I was just cutting a strip. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim it so that it's all nice and even and the edges match and meet. So you don't see all this little gray sticking out doesn't have to be a perfect, perfectly even strip. It's a cowbell, guys. It's a rustic farmhouse cowbell we are making out of the garbage can. Out of the garbage can. I need to think of a use for the lid. Don't know what I'm doing with the lid yet. But now you see I have leather on both sides of my strip. And now this is going to become our cowbell. Our co oh, how amazing is this? It's going to become our cowbell hanger but i think i may cut it a little bit skinnier i like it a little bit skinnier i'm gonna cut it a little bit skinnier i'll measure how wide i actually cut it just so you guys have a reference of how wide that i cut it and then you can also look and make sure your edges are glued closed see i have one popping open a little bit here so i'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue and i'm gonna glue it closed and I will measure how wide my strip is. My strip is exactly an inch. How about that? It's exactly an inch wide. So then I'm gonna go rim to rim with my strip, adding glue and then buckling it up. And then I'm gonna add more glue on the other side to make our little hanger. So I'm just gonna add a little drop of glue. Oh, I need a little bit more than that. And then I'm going to attach my hanger and just hold it there for a second with your finger. And then I'm gonna buckle it up as high as you want it to go. I'm gonna say right about there is gonna be right where I, right about there is where I'm gonna be wanting my hook to be. So I'm gonna snip off the remaining that I'm not using. I'm gonna add my glue. And then I'm going to hold this piece down. And we just created ourselves. A really cute bell hanger. A cute bell hanger. Now, if you don't have access to the uh, faux leather, you might be able to, guys, use a piece of cardboard and paint it brown. Because um, cardboard is bendable. Um, you could just take it and pull it in your hands and kind of make it into, like, the shape. It should work if you don't want to spend the money on the faux leather. But you can always try to use cardboard. So, guys, look. We have our bell strap. Now, the bell strap needed a little something. So I have two thumbtacks that I rusted up. I do have a rusting technique on my blog. You can go to thesilverfarmhouse.com, look for my blog and type in small item rusting technique. But I'm using little rusty thumbtacks that I need my, where are my little wire cutters? And what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna cut the stem off of my thumbtack 
it still has a tiny little bit of a stem left, but it's okay. I'm gonna add a little drop of hot glue. This is a little tedious because you can't add too, too much because it all seeps out. And then guys, I'm gonna use these as like snaps on the edge. Kind of, if you did the boot planner with me, if you did the boot planner with me, it's the same thing I did with the boot planner. I'm adding them as little snaps on the edge. They work great for little snaps. You just buy regular metal thumbtacks and you could rust them up yourself. You could rust them up yourself, guys. And I'm gonna hold those down for a second. Will you look? Look at, look at my bell. Look at my cowbell. Okay, since this is a cowbell, I thought, guys, did that not come out cute? Did that not come out cute? It's a an amazing, amazing cowbell. So I thought it needed the bell inside in case you were gonna put it on a tree uh, that you would see the inside. You don't have to do this step, but I'm gonna show you quick how I made a cute little bell for the inside of this. And I'm gonna see, it's, it's somewhat dry. My inside is somewhat dry, but it's grunged up also. It's not super grunged like the outside. It's a little bit harder to do the inside than it is the outside. So what I did is I took a small styrofoam ball. I have no idea what size this is because it came in a pack of an assortment and it just said assortment styrofoam balls. But I am gonna tell you, I don't even know what it is comparable in size, but do you see it in the palm of my hand? Any size little styrofoam ball will work. Don't worry about what size you're getting. Any size will work. So you all know it needs to have a little farmhouse spin on it, right? So I'm using homespun fabric, just a strip of it. And we're gonna make a rag ball for the inside bell banger thing. The inside bell ringer. Um, we are just, I'm adding a little hot glue, attaching my fabric, and then I'm just gonna wrap my fabric around my ball in all different directions until I have my entire little styrofoam ball covered. Your fabric doesn't have to be flat. It could be all bumpy, whatever you want. See, it's just, it's how you make a rag ball, guys. Exactly how you make a rag ball. You can make a rag ball with the styrofoam balls. I like making my rag balls out of uh, just the cloth itself, but you can make rag balls out of styrofoam balls too. So we just made like a little rag ball. And then I'm taking a piece of fabric that is going to be able to let my little ball here hang inside my belt. So I'm gonna attach this fabric with a little bit of glue. I'm gonna pick a spot here. I'm gonna pick a spot, add some hot glue, and I'm gonna attach my fabric to my little ball. My glue is on, oh, it's on high temp, but it's not burning me. Um, I thought it was on low temp, but it's not. People say, do you have thumbs of steel? But it's not that hot, it's not that hot. I don't know if it's because it's cool out today. So I just attached my ball with a piece of fabric. Now you need to see, I told you to stick with me too, because I got something to show you on the end. Now you need to see how far you want your ball to hang. This is gonna be hard to show you, but how far you want your ball to hang inside your belt. And then cut your fabric at that point. So I'm gonna say, mine's gonna be right about here. I'm gonna snip my fabric. I'm gonna add some hot glue down into the top center. I just put it right down into the top center. And then guys, I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna attach it to my hot glue. I didn't wanna dig out a drill and all of that for this. So I'm figuring we're just gonna glue a little fabric. You guys, will you look? I know it's hard to see, but will you look? You got a farmhouse bell little guy in there. What, I don't even know what you call those, but it makes the bell go ding. Yeah, that thing. But you got one of those in there. Now I got glue strings everywhere. But guys, look how amazingly cute this comes out. And I, of course, am going to add a hang tag to this. This is a cow stamper I got from Hobby Lobby. Just my coffee stained hang tags and I wrote moo on it. I am going to put this. I'm going to tie it right on the strap and show you the finished product. And yes, we made a cowbell out of a garbage can. Out of a garbage can. And will you look? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hate showing you guys all the blue strings. I really do. But they're, these these are kind of stuck on here. If you get some uh, packing tape or a little brush, um, it will. you can wipe them off. But guys, will you look? Look at my bell. Look at my bell. Look at my cowbell. Guys, you can make an amazing cowbell from the Dollar Tree garbage can. And I need to show you something real quick. Thank you for staying on because you're not gonna be disappointed. Are you ready? 
It's go big or go home, okay? Go big or go home. Guys, I made an enormous cowbell. An enormous cowbell. This one is really big. I'm gonna show you what I used right now, but you see, these, uh, the buckles on the leather strap are just cookie sheet cut into t uh, circles and then rusted up using the same rusting technique. And for the handle, I did add a piece of rusty wire in between the two pieces that we glued together. It doesn't have to be rusty wire. It could be any kind of wire. Um, even a pipe cleaner may work just to hold your handle up if you were interested in making a larger version. And I had a bigger tag and I wrote moo on the tag. Guys, this is what I used for the large version. I'm loving the large version. Loving the large version. They spread a little cinnamon. I'm not going to say they don't. They do spread a little cinnamon. But I'm probably going to maybe take a little brush, like um, a little cleaning brush, and just brush this off a little bit. I was doing it with my hands, and it was working just fine. Just if there is any excess, because, guys, I plan on putting this, I think, next to my tree. Next to my everyday tree is where I plan on putting this on the floor. But here's what I used. I went to Walmart. You could buy Sterilite 5.5 gallon garbage cans. This is what I used, a Sterilite 5.5 gallon garbage can. It does not come with a lid. I think they were $5.98 maybe uh, for this garbage can um, at Walmart. But look for a Sterilite garbage can too. Oh guys, there was something in my hair. Ah! Ah, there was something in my hair. Ah! <laughs> oh, there was something in my hair. Oh, that's the joys of being outside. But you can make a large bell or you can make the small bell, guys. How amazing do these come out? So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm very excited over this. And if you know anybody who might love to make one of these, feel free to spread the love of the Silver Farmhouse. Thanks for watching, guys.